Well, the man chosen by Governor Kemp to clean up the Georgia insurance office is new to the insurance industry, but battle tested on many other fronts. John King is the first Hispanic constitutional statewide officer in Georgia history. A soldier and former police chief, King followed Jim Beck, who was convicted of stealing more than two and a half million dollars from an agency before he was elected. Well, King sat down with senior IT reporter Dale Russell to talk about the damage done in the department and how he plans to turn it around. The key is, is now being able to repair the damage that's been done. John King, a former policeman and current soldier, is now faced with turning around the state insurance office that was rocked by a political scandal. Putting a new culture of thinking of service, of ethics, of morals, of, of an approach to serving Georgia consumers. Born in Mexico, King moved to America and became an Atlanta police beat cop. He was later hired to be chief of the Doraville Police Department. Also, a major general in the Georgia National Guard. King has fought in Iraq and Afghanistan. So help me God. So help me God. A unique worldwide background for the man appointed by Governor Brian Kemp to be Georgia's new insurance commissioner. I don't come from the, from the insurance background. It allowed me to do a really a critical look at every function of our agency to really see is it needed, does it add value to Georgia consumers, or we need to do away with it. What Beck had done was diabolical, and to do it to your friends, who does that? King swearing in Friday followed former insurance commissioner Jim Beck, beginning a seven-year, three-month sentence in federal prison. A jury convicted Beck of using friends and family to mastermind a scheme to steal more than $2.5 million from a state chartered insurer he ran before he was commissioner. I feel bad for his family. Because, you know, and of course, you know, we, we're a nation where you're accountable. Uh, and this is a prime example of, of accountability. Can, can you just tell me why you took the... Well, that was uncalled for. The FBI investigation of Beck followed numerous I-team reports of Beck back in 2018. One involved Beck having two jobs at the same time while working for the state. And one report involved Beck having a second job while working for a local Georgia district attorney. How could you work for both at the same time? It's just important to have the availability of insurance. We even investigated an arson of a rental property Beck owned. The item obtained documents that showed Beck nearly doubled his insurance coverage some two weeks before the arson. The case was never solved. Beck told us he had no idea who did it. That it was kind of a weird situation because, you know, it was, a, uh, it was insured by a company I worked for. King has run the agency since Governor Kemp suspended Beck in 2019, after a grand jury indicted him on theft charges. King didn't officially take over until last week when Beck went to prison. He says it was a tough job changing a statewide agency from the ground up. And reorganize an agency to its core. And so it, 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 was, it was tough because we let a lot of people go. They had no business working, working for, for, for Georgians. King is also putting on his political hat, running as a Republican to be the duly elected insurance commissioner next fall. A long walk from his days as a beat cop. As a former Atlanta policeman walking the streets of Auburn Avenue, walking, you know, working in East Lake Meadows, I, I am an eternal optimist. So I have, I, I, you know, I always think that tomorrow is going to be better than today. So I, I'm excited about that. King already has two Democratic opponents in the race, State Representative Matthew Wilson and insurance broker Janice Laws Robinson. Dale Russell, Fox 5 News.